Hi my beautiful lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another video today. I hope you are doing well. Today's reading is love messages from the person on your mind. Alright, so it, it uh, probably is someone who you already know, who you love or you are secretly in love with and you would like to know what they want to tell you and maybe you are not communicating or even if you are, uh, you want to know more about their feelings, we will have a look, okay? And before doing that, I would like to show you one book which I really love and that is Love and Respect. And this book is very interesting and very useful for people who are in a marriage or who are planning to be in a serious relationship and they would like to know what are the key secrets, how to be happy in a marriage, in a relationship and so on. So I strongly recommend it to you. You can find the link below in the description box. Okay, let's go back, go back to our topic. So please... I, I prepared for groups today. This is group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So please take some time, relax, and pick a card. And we can start. Hi group one, welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out a um, little bit more, okay, about your, your partner's thoughts. So when the first message is, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Very strong message. Okay, let's start and have a look what your person on your mind would like to tell you. Oh, sorry, you didn't see. All right, so let's start. First message is, I had to pause my actions towards you. It was not the right time. So maybe you are right now not communicating. You are, it seems like, you know, there is a pause or there is a, some type of a break between the two of you. Next message is, I'm going through an awakening and start seeing why things happen the way they happen. Okay, so this person needed to probably see what this connection is about. So your patience was a good thing and uh, you know it's always good to not to be patient and not to be in a hurry when it comes to love so my love is peering out from my cup so this person is really in love with you this is like a new connection type of newish yeah but uh, i feel like this person is already falling in love with you i want to share all my life with you so they really want you in their life. This is really beautiful and romantic. They're very romantic. I left, but I just can't say goodbye. You see, they needed a break. They needed some time to be on their own, to, to think about a connection and to process, sorry, to process all emotions. Look, we are soulmates. I'm coming back home. So he's, <laughs> he's really, is perfect. This person is coming back. You are soulmates. It's a very strong connection. New beginning only with you. Amazing. So they want to start something new, new cycle with you in their life. You have so much in your heart. <clears throat> so much love. Your light enlightens me and makes me to be a better version of myself day by day. You are like the sun, you know, energy for them. One more. Group number one, spirit, we have here. I'm constantly thinking about you. I don't want to spend any more nights without you. I, I'm, it's torturing me. I miss you, my love. They are coming back, all right? They, they really want to start this new beginning, passionate new beginning with you. Oh, wow, I'm impressed how everything, you know, matches. So this person has left for some period of time. They needed to... You know, to see if uh, if it's worth it 
to wait because probably there is some type of a um um restriction or something like you know there is something needs to be overcome and if you are soulmates or twin flames there it's normal you know because uh, this connection is extremely strong and passionate and uh, you know you have to go slow and steady because there are so many emotions right what to do with all these emotions and maybe you are right now in a different locations and you are waiting for things to happen okay i'm curious what's gonna happen next one more message this one i want to take okay we have two <laughs> stuck i want to have a family with you you are my wish come true my everything <laughs> oh my goodness i'm so excited for you my dear it's amazing be patient with me. We are a divine couple. <laughs> no more words are needed, right? Okay, my dear. If you would like to be prepared for this huge amount of love coming into your life and want to be a good partner to your um, soulmate, maybe it's a good idea to have a look at this book, Love and Respect which will show you which will tell you the secrets you know how to uh, treat each other in a relationship and what to do what are the secrets how it works and so on you can find the link below all right my dear so that's all i have for you right now thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time bye Two, welcome to your reading let's have a look and find out a little bit more okay the first message is criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform that's the first message let's get some more messages from your person so spirit please give us more messages for group number two Oh, this one wanted to be okay. Take them out. This one. Book number two. What's going on in this connection? So the first message. Sometimes I'm stubborn and try to control everything in my life. But we can't control everything. I know it now. So, you know, this is a person who, who is like the emperor. They like to have con everything under control. And they are very stubborn. Um, they require a, a lot of respect as well. They are quite uh, very intelligent. yeah, And they want to control everything. But... Yeah, they are realizing they, they can't control everything because it's not uh, a thing, it's an emotion. I want to create a paradise on earth with you. Okay, so they, all right, they are controlling their emotions, but uh, they're thinking about you all the time. They want to be happy with you. I'm so passionate about you. You drive me crazy. So much fire between us. I want you so much. <laughs> Someone is really attractive here. Is this you? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I want to work on our connection. You mean a lot to me. I don't want to lose you. Never. Let's work on it. You see? This person, they are trying to control this connection. Maybe slowing it down. You know, they want to go slow and steady. And you want it to be maybe a little bit more uh, action driven. But uh, you see, maybe for them it was not the right time. Okay, we have here, reconcile with me forever. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, maybe you are on a break and you don't speak that much and they want to come back to you. Look, endless love, will you marry me? 
They want to marry you one day. Oh, wow. Very romantic. Justice will be served. I'm loyal and have faith that all is happening for our good. All right. Then we have, soon I send you a message. Want to communicate with you so much. I'm on my way. All right. Okay, we get it. Look, we are, oh wow, you are the love of my life. Anything else you need to know? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, let's get let's get this message, this one here. There are two. You are all I ever wished for. And I will always love you. Oh wow, this person is extremely in love with you. They were just trying to control the, their emotions. Because they were afraid that this connection will never work out. Okay. And they don't like to be criticized. This is another message. If you start criticizing each other, this will only lead to further unhappiness. And the emperor, they are very fiery, you know, they are very stubborn and they, they know what they are doing. They think they know what they are doing. So yeah, you have to be patient with them. But look, they love you. So if you would like to be, uh, you know supportive person in this uh, relationship when they come back to you and write you a message i see a beautiful reconciliation possibility but it's up to you my dear but if you are already together and you would like to know how to deal with this type of a person please read this book love and respect this will give you a lot of ideas how to treat each other and maybe also they should read it okay once you are together give it to them as a gift um, and this way you will for sure be together forever okay my dear so you can find a, a link below in the description box that's all i have for you right now so thank you very much for watching if you liked it please don't forget to subscribe share and comment and i will see you in my next video bye Hi, Agropri, welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out what are the love messages from the person on your mind. So we have here, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give it to, you, to yourself. So I mean, I think like this person needs a break. Okay, or maybe you already are on a break. Let's see what are their messages, spirit. What are their messages? We start with this. Slow and steady. Yeah. Yes. Okay, reconcile with me forever. So this message will be here somewhere. They want to reconcile. My love is spewing out from my cup. So they are, they are in love with you, but they want to go slow and steady. Then they will want to reconcile with you. And then I have here, I want to create a paradise on earth with you. Okay, slow and steady. You are so wonderful. I can't resist you. I am so... So I'm distancing myself, you see, they are afraid, they are afraid that uh, when they are in, in, in a hurry with you, that you will not have a, an interest in them anymore, you will not be interested in anymore, because uh, they feel like there is a huge competition around you, that uh, you are so wonderful, that many people want you, and they have this type of a strategy as well. New beginning only with you. For some of you, they are already reconciling with you, okay? And they are coming back. I want to be a strong, passionate and loving man for you. Amazing. 
you see they are preparing themselves for this beautiful loving relationship but it's always up to you okay you can do whatever you feel is the best thing for you to do okay we here have here soon i send you a message i want to communicate with you so much i'm on my way and then we have here i'm watching you on social media and look at your photos all the time they are so attracted to you wow your beauty radiates beyond limits group number three you are all wonderful people here i need time on my own i'm exhausted and need to rest definitely this is a strong message coming through okay the first message and the last message it's important to take a step back right now and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give it to yourself so don't worry if they are not communicating enough or if they are slow moving that's fine okay just don't be pushy with this person okay so my dear i have one book for you you already probably know it it's love and respect if you would like to you know be an equal partner in a relationship and if you would like to know how to really take care of another one okay how to treat each other in a relationship this is the right book for couples and even for singles to be prepared for a beautiful loving relationship and um, you can find the link below in the description box if you are interested okay let's see and uh, find out a little bit more for group number three what are their other messages next message please one more please spirit okay look and we have four messages so i had to put my walls up our connection is so strong that i feel so overwhelmed i need time to process all emotions you see they need time and so much yellow wow endless love will you marry me <laughs> wow there's a huge potential for marriage i want to have a family with you you are my wish come true my everything amazing group number three and then we have here let's go for a romantic date dinner with candles fresh air you and me i need to express my feelings for you this is their future action i need more time to start seeing what this connection is about you see slow and steady they need more time go slow and steady with them and they will stay in your life so my dear that's all i have for you right now thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye Hi group 4, welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out what are the messages of the person on your mind. Okay, what are the love messages? We have here, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Okay. So you probably are not dating each other, nothing. You're probably just uh, together in a 5D connection. Let's see what they have to say to you. Okay. So the first message we have here. Will you forgive me if I apologize? All right. So maybe there was a tower moment. There was uh, something happened. Okay. Between the two of you and you are now separated and you admire each other from distance. I'm sorry for being dishonest to you okay they probably yeah as i said something happened in the past 
You are so attractive. I'm afraid to approach you. Were they acting a little bit uh, um, that they did not communicate clearly? Or maybe they were just too, too much, you know, working on other things, trying to ignore you? This could be the thing. I want to give you as much as I can one day. We will have a beautiful, stable and balanced relationship. Okay, they are planning it. I had to distance myself. Was not ready for so much love yet. I'm so confused. Okay, they are in a decision point right now. I want to be that I want definitely work on our connection. All right. Help me to stabilize my hot and cold energy. I'm so passionate about you. Now oh, this person could be a player. All right. They were a player in the past. I am in love with you and you might not even know about it. <laughs> Secret admirer, right? I had to pause my actions towards you. It was not the right time. All right. Okay, two more messages, spirit. Anything we need to know for group number four. Okay. The first message is, I left, but I just can't say goodbye. So they are coming back. They want to come back. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Fear is stopping me from any action towards you right now. I'm weak. I need more courage. Give me some time, please. All right. Okay. I see. This is quite fresh hmm. for some of you. These are their messages for you. All right. So they are afraid something happened in the past. And they want to come back, but they are afraid of rejection. And they want to work on this connection. They're asking you to help them to stabilize their hot and cold energy. Because they are so passionate about you. Oh, I feel sorry for you. You have to be patient with them. Mm, give them time. Okay, my dear. And you see... I left, but I just can't say goodbye. So this connection, there is still some fire. Definitely. Okay, my dear, if you would like to be prepared for a beautiful, loving relationship, and if you would like to know how to treat each other in a relationship, therefore, I recommend this book for you to read, Love and Respect, right? And uh, there are some secrets, how to, what to do in a relationship if you want to be forever in a relationship and how to take care of each other and uh, what is the most important thing you will find it there and uh, yeah you can find the link below in the description box okay and uh, yeah that's all i have for you right now so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time bye